from genetically modified pigs to featherless chickens, here are your top 10 scientifically created species that pose a danger to the world. I'm Melissa Malati, your host, and let's jump right into it. In our number 10 spot, we have the Enviro pigs. Scientists have recently created a new kind of pig. The pig that they created can absorb phosphorus in its body. Why is this important, you may ask? Well, scientists discovered that when pigs poo, I'm, I'm classy, really. <laughs> when pigs poo, they release a large amount of phosphorus into Mother Earth, and that makes her extremely unhappy. And so it became important for scientists to figure out a way to reduce this. Well, they did, and the genetically engineered pig they created absorbs most of the phosphorus in its body. I believe that this creation may be the first step in creating a pig army that could be used to take over the world, as pigs have a lot in common with humans. A pig army is definitely terrifying, and I really hope that's not the result of this. Let's move on. In our number 9 spot, we have the zombie dog. This one kind of makes me sick to talk about, but it has to be done. If you're a dog person, maybe cover your ears. In the 1940s, some Soviet scientists were apparently bored yep, bored, and decided to take the head off of a dog and put it on another animal's body. With some blood transfusion and oxygen pumped to the brain, their experiment was actually successful as the dog came back to life, and he even tried to lick his own nose. This experiment arguably poses a danger to the world's sanity, as dogs are the best creatures ever, and it's just horrible that this was done. But apparently the science community has stated that this experiment did show some signs of hope in terms of finding solutions for people who are hemorrhaging blood too rapidly to be saved by conventional means. In our number 8 spot we have featherless chickens. This one is literally terrifying to look at, but also kind of terrifying if people are going to ingest this in the future. This is a new kind of chicken that scientists created that is featherless. It's fewer calories and higher protein. Sounds like every weightlifter's dream. <laughs> But don't get too excited about this because apparently these kinds of chickens are more prone to health conditions and are more likely to have parasites. Lovely. Well, this might be the meat that kills the world then. I hope if they do end up mass producing these kinds of chickens that they put on the label featherless chicken. Then people will have an option if they want to take the risk or not. I'm sure they'll do their best to correct this issue before giving it to humans to eat. But then again, actually I take that back, I don't have that much faith in our food suppliers. <laughs> People get ill all the time from meat and they just do a mass recall and that's it. Anyways, buyer beware. In our number 7 spot we have the new sudden death mosquito. Honorable mention. Okay, so before you go hide under the covers, you know something I want to do like all the time, just know that the name of these mosquitoes, it's not as scary as it sounds. A mosquito was created to be essentially an anti-disease mosquito. As mosquitoes carrying malaria is a massive problem in Africa countries, scientists wanted to try to combat this issue and create a mosquito that would kill other mosquitoes, which eventually would extinguish the species in a few years. Of course, the major problem would be that it would completely disrupt the entire ecosystem that they are a part of. The mosquitoes help provide food for fish and birds and so many amphibians and insects and also in indirect ways for some animals, so it really just wouldn't be good if they were wiped out. Even though, honestly, it would it would be nice to not be bitten alive every summer. They love my blood. In our number six spot, we have the spider silk goat. Okay, the idea of a spider goat existing is probably the most terrifying thing to imagine. And if such a thing did exist that had half spider features and half goat features, I would probably cry. However, in the case of this experiment, that isn't exactly what happened. A creature was created that looked like a goat and had so many regular qualities that would make it a goat. But the one difference is that it actually made spider silk protein in its milk and it could be spun to make spider silk. This is potentially really great for us as spider silk can produce such valuable things such as bandages that are superior and bulletproof armor. But yeah, if they ever create a goat with spider features, I think the world would be in extreme danger. At least our ability to stay sane would be at risk for sure. In our number 5 spot we have the human pig. Ah, the human pig. Yeah, I bet some of you haven't heard of this one, and I mean, it doesn't exist anymore, but it did for 28 days before scientists shut down the experiment, so 
Yeah. An experiment was done to create a human animal hybrid by injecting human stem cells into a female pig. As I said, it was for 28 days, but that's one third of a pig's pregnancy, so the fetus was sufficiently developed before it all got shut down. They were not ready or prepared to deal with the unpredictable outcome if the human animal went to term, and they just kept it alive enough to understand how the cells interact with each other. Can you imagine a pig with a human brain? alive and roaming free in this world? No, 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 no. No, I can't. <laughs> That would definitely be so dangerous, especially if it had pig instincts. Some pigs eat their babies. Enough said. In our number four spot, we have the glowfish. Glowfish are not necessarily a danger to us human beings, but most likely a danger to themselves. Let me explain. The glowfish are fish that have been created as a result of gene splicing, and yes, they glow in the dark. Pretty awesome. However, not so much for them. Why? Well, if they're released into the wild, then they will be extremely vulnerable as predators will be able to easily spot them because, well, they glow and they will be gobbled up easily. Even though there are already fish out there that naturally glow, so they already have to deal with this problem, what is the point of creating a new fish that will also be gobbled up? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> In our number three spot, we have Rupee. Rupee is a genetically engineered clone dog that is extremely cute. So cute. The world's first cloned beagle, to be exact. He's one of five beagles that were produced by a Korean scientist by the name of Byung Chung Lee. He was cloned by using a viral transfection of fibroblast cells with a protein that allows him to glow red in the dark. Yes, like the devil, because they are demon dogs. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> this cloned species doesn't seem to threaten the world, but it will threaten all of those out there that get bothered by fluorescent light. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this was just a scientifically created species that I wanted to give an honorable mention to because they are so cute. But seriously though, this is a big step forward for scientists working to cure human diseases as these dogs are the first modified genes cloned successfully. So really this creation could be the beginning of curing the world instead of endangering it. In our number two spot, we have fast-growing salmon. Scientists at Aqua Bounty created a genetically modified salmon that grows extremely fast. This new kind of salmon has the same odor, color, texture, and flavor of standard salmon, but it is able to grow twice as fast because of a growth hormone that stays activated throughout the entire year. But some believe that this could be dangerous to eat, and as of yet, we are unsure as to how safe it is. The FDA have not approved this kind of salmon just quite yet, so perhaps it's better to stay clear until the green light is given. Could be dangerous to the in our number one spot, we have the landmine detecting plant species. Yes, you heard me correctly. Scientists have genetically engineered a plant that can help us detect where landmines are in the world. You might not realize how big of a problem this is, but it is estimated that about 70 people die per day because of unknown landmines that were placed in different areas around the world during the previous wars. I actually know someone personally whose brother died because of a landmine explosion which is pretty insane. So the fact that a group of scientists have created a plant that could help detect them is so awesome. When it's near nitrogen dioxide, an ingredient known in explosives, the plant turns red. That will show us where the landmines are so that they can be removed more safely or even just avoided. The landmines are a danger to the world and this plant could actually be life-saving. So this spot might be the reverse of the title of this video, but this kick-ass new plant species needed an honorable mention. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for good vibes and more content like this. I'm your host, Melissa Melotti, and I hope to see you next time. In the meantime though, have a good day, sir.